OK, Gibril, welcome to Everton. When you heard the club was interested in signing you, what made you want to come? Why was this an attractive proposition for you? Well, uh, thanks very much for the welcome. I was, of course, very, very happy to hear that uh, a historic and big club like Everton was thinking of signing me. And uh, it was very easy for me. I didn't have to reflect too long before making my decision to come here. Do you feel you're joining an ambitious club? Moyes Keane signed this week and said he feels Everton have an exceptional squad. Well, yes, of course, it's not just one player, of course, that feeds ambitions. The club is well known for having this uh, drive forward. It's come from many different players and from outside and from within the club as well. But, of course, it's an important element that uh, Everton is known as a very ambitious club. So did you know a lot about Everton then, before they even made the approach to you? Did you know a lot about the club? Moi, à vrai dire, Everton, j'ai joué une année... Well, uh, I, I was obviously aware of Everton uh, from the time when I was at Lille. Uh, we suffered a 3 0 defeat over here <laughs> some time back. But even then, we knew that Everton was a very uh, ambitious, ambitious club. You joined Monaco at a very exciting time for the club when they were looking to progress. And in your first season, won the league, got to the semi finals of the Champions League. Do you feel you're joining a club with similar ambition and? at a similar stage of its development, ready to achieve something significant? Well, it's uh, obviously um, it's a big uh, source of motivation for me to see a club which is recruiting players of the calibre they have been doing. And not just players, they're there to, to make up the numbers. You can see that Everton are recruiting with the intent to go on and win trophies and uh, you know, play on the biggest stage. And for my part, I'm 100% motivated and ready and to help the club to achieve the goals as a club and to achieve my own individual goals as well. The one thing you wouldn't have had at Monaco, certainly playing at home, is the big crowds. Is playing at Goodison Park in front of a passionate support, 40,000 people every week, huge away following. Is that something that excites you and another attraction of coming to the club? Yeah, well, uh, obviously it's uh, a big thing for any player to feel that uh, that rush from the fans and the supporters, you know, be they the parents or kids, girls and boys. It's something that uh, every player would look forward to and I'm no exception. Are you aware of the reputation of the Everton fans, how passionate they're known to be? Well, yeah, I found out. I did some research before I came. Uh, I got into contact with a few players playing here in England to ask for some advice about life in Liverpool, you know, life in England and uh, what it's like with these fans. And I was told that they're very loyal and very demanding fans as well. Now, for me, that's it's another source of inspiration. I'm hoping that I'll be able to fulfil their, uh, their demands that they make of me. We mentioned your success with Monaco, your pedigree as a player, you're a World Cup winner as well. Do you think that you can use those experiences to help Everton now you're here? Well, uh, I would say every player has something to give to the whole of the project. Uh, obviously, an element as well comes down to the coach. It's up to the coach to make for a good uh, atmosphere for the players. And it comes down to the chemistry. Uh, everybody wants to create the chemistry amongst the players and play their role in that. But, of course, it's that chemistry and the bonding between the players that makes for... Uh, uh, a strong team in the tough times as well as, should we say, the easier times. Everybody knows that the season in the Premier League is long, it's very physical, it's a tiring season. So uh, hopefully we can uh, create that bond early on. Your whole career you've played for teams that have done well. You were promoted twice with Troyes. Lille were always fighting at the top of the league and reached the cup final. You did well with Monaco. Like we said, the international success at the World Cup as well. So you're now hungry for more success? Well, uh, I hope so. I mean, that's what I've come here for, of course. Uh, there are plenty of other teams who are out there competing to be you know, top dog and uh, we'll, we hope to be among them. It's a fabulous moment for me and an opportunity for me to progress my career here at Everton. And I hope you know, my motivation comes through and we can get where we want to be.
j'ai hâte et je suis motivé et puis je suis déterminé.